Hello students. So right now in this module we are going to learn about a reaction which is dehydration of alcohols and dehalogenation of alkyl dihalides. सबसे पहले when you are talking about dehydration what do you mean by dehydration? Dehydration means the removal of water molecules. अच्छा किसमें से water molecule निकालना है तो we got to remove it from the alcohol molecules. होगा क्या? Let's have a look at the reaction of dehydration. सबसे पहले you have taken a molecule of alcohol. Which contains OH, obviously, and you have H on the adjacent carbon atom. Okay, now what's going to happen? So, पानी निकालना यहाँ से है ना? You need to dehydrate the molecule, so you require a dehydrating agent. Now, what are the dehydrating agents that you can use? Let's try to understand that also. The dehydrating agents that you can use over here are concentrated H2SO4 at a temperature of 443 kelvins, or Al2O3 at a temperature of 623 kelvins. Okay. What is going to happen? The OH from the first carbon and H from its adjacent carbon is going to get removed in form of water. So here, OH and H are removed in form of water. Acha, bacha kya apke pas? So you are left with two carbons and four hydrogens. So you will get two carbons, four hydrogen. But now instead of a single bond, you will get a double bond. In between those two carbon atoms, okay. So that means from an alcohol by dehydration, आपने एक अल्कीन प्रोड्यूस किया. Let's have a look at the reactions or let's have a look at the examples for this reaction. So if you talk about the example for a molecule ethyl alcohol, once again, what's going to happen? Ethyl alcohol OH है. OH उसके साइड वाले कार्बन का H in the presence of 95% H2SO4 at 443 kelvins or Al2O3 at 623 kelvins. H and OH are going to be removed. So therefore, you will get a water molecule as a dehydrated product and you will get CH2 double bond CH2 which will be nothing but ethene or ethylene. Okay. Similarly, if we have a propane molecule liya, but this time it's propane to all. Achha, ab check karna hai pe dekho. Over here, what is going to happen? <coughs> then, in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, 443 kelvins or Al2O3, 623 kelvins, obviously OH and H are going to be removed. But then OH is on a carbon, which we call alpha carbon. Now, on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you have both adjacent carbons. Hai. So over here, let's call one carbon as beta, other carbon as beta dash. In this case, because the beta and beta dash carbons are one and the same, or beta and beta dash alkyl groups are same, isliye koi farak nahi padega ki kahi se bhi nikal lo. So therefore, maan lete ki aapne sirf beta carbon mein se ek hydrogen nikal diya. So what's going to happen? OH from the alpha carbon, H from the beta carbon is going to be lost into water molecule, giving you CH3. CH double bond CH2, which is propylene or propene. Okay, so this was the reaction for dehydration of alcohols. Now let's talk about a dihalide. First of all, what exactly do you mean by a dihalide? Dekho. So dihalide matlab, there is a compound which contains two halogen atoms. Now, over here, there are two possibilities. Ho sakti hai. Maan lo ye mere paas ek compound hai. In the first case, aap dekho, ek hi carbon pe do halogen groups attached. Hai. And second compound pe do alag alag carbon pe do halogen groups attached hai. So right now both of them are dihalide. In the first case, the same carbon has two halogen atoms. In the second case, there are two different carbons which are adjacent to each other having the halogen atoms. So over here, what you will say that in the first case, two halogen atoms on the same carbon. Therefore, this is geminal. In the second case, Two halogen atoms attached on adjacent carbon atoms. Therefore, this would be referred as a vicinal dihalide. So, you have two types of dihalides. One is geminal dihalide. Other one is vicinal dihalide. Okay. Furthermore, let's try to understand an example. In this case, dekho, dono chlorine are they attached on the same carbon atom? And yes, therefore, it is geminal. In the second case, dono chlorine they are attached on two different carbon atoms, but the carbon atoms are adjacent to each other. Therefore, this would be an example for vicinal dihalides. Achha, ab hoga kya? Inke naam dekke dekhte hai. Sabse pehle, do you have an alkyl group? Absolutely. So, dono taraf aapke paas alkyl groups hai. Secondly, kya aapke paas dihalide hai? Absolutely, yes. Dihalide bhi hai. So, both of these contain alkyl group and dihalide. 
सर लेकिन पता कैसे चलेगा कि कौन सा जेमिनल है कौन सा विसिनल है तो देखो इफ यू राइट डाउन द नेम इफ यू राइट डाउन द नेम एज अल्कलीन डाइहलाइड दैट मीन्स इट इज विसिनल इफ यू राइट डाउन द नेम अल्कलीन डाइहलाइड दैट मीन्स इट इज जेमिनल तो इसका नाम क्या आएगा जेमिनल डाइहलाइड या विसिनल डाइहलाइड का वट वुड बी दूपीएससी नेम then the ipsc name for this would be ethylene dichloride and for the second one that is geminal dihalide it would be ethylidine dichloride okay or you can also name it as 12 dichloroethane and over here you can name it as 11 dichloroethane ab ek aur cheez note karna both of these geminal dihalides and vicinal dihalides they are position isomers of each other in both of the cases molecular formula remains the same but the structure is changing therefore these are position isomers of each other theek hai chalo aage badhte hain the next thing is dehalogenation of vicinal dihalides pehle hum log ne dehydration kiya tha ab hum log dehalogenation kar rahe hain of dihalides but kaun se dihalides vicinal ya geminal we are doing it for vicinal dihalides okay what do you mean by vicinal dihalides then vicinal dihalides matlab there are two halogen atoms both of them are attached on two different carbon atoms and both the carbon atoms are adjacent to each other okay to aapke paas ek compound hai maan lete this is a vicinal dihalide jo aapke paas hai you are treating this with zinc in the presence of alcohol and heat what would happen zn will combine with both the halogen atoms giving you zn x2 and sath hi sath aapke paas kya bach raha hai dekho you are still left with ch2 single bond ch2 but then because you have removed two halogens instead of single bond you will get a double bond so vicinal dihalides isme se agar aap dono halogens nikal dete ho you are getting a corresponding alkene let's try to do this with an example okay so example mein let's suppose aapke paas hai ethylene dibromide yaad karo ethylene and ethylidine ethylidine means geminal ethylene means vicinal so you have ethylene dibromide over here aapne kya kiya you have taken zn in the presence of alcohol and heat zn will combine with both the brs giving you zn br2 along with this you would get ch2 double bond ch2 which is ethene or ethylene further if you take another example of 12 dichloropropane in this what is going to happen vapas aapne liya zn in the presence of alcohol and heat is taraf zn दोनों क्लोरीन की तरफ दोनों क्लोरीन के साथ कंबाइन करेगा गिविंग यू जेड एन सी एल टू एंड अलॉन्ग विद गेट सी एच थ्री सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच टू विच इज प्रोपलिन और प्रोपीन सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट वॉट यू नीड टू नो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी हेलोजिनेशन एंड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डिहाइड्रेशन डिहाइड्रेशन में क्या होता है वंस अगेन यू आर रिमूविंग वॉटर डी हेलोजिनेशन में यू आर रिमूविंग हेलोजन बट इन डी हेलोजिनेशन You require a dihalide, मतलब दो halogens and both the halogens should be attached on two different carbon atoms which are adjacent to each other. That means that should be a vicinal dihalide. Okay, in both the cases, dehalogenation uh, as well as dehydration. In both the cases, आपका जो single bond था मतलब एक saturated compound is getting converted into an unsaturated alkene. So can I use both of these reactions as a preparatory method for alkenes? Absolutely yes, you can use this. Okay, next module में हम लोग पढ़ेंगे what is the actual mechanism of dehydration and <clears throat> how you would decide who is the major product, who is the minor product. We'll discuss upon that in the next slide or in the next module. Okay, so for this module we will stop over here. I hope you must have understood dehalogenation and dehydration of alcohols. Let's meet in the next module. Till then, thank you, students, and happy learning.